So, the next topic is Darcy's Law. Darcy's Law. You can learn geotechnical engineering in the same way as you can use. So, the percolation of water through soil was first studied by Darcy in the year 1856 who demonstrated experimentally that for laminar flow conditions in a saturated soil, the rate of flow or discharge per unit time is proportional to the hydraulic gradient and it could be expressed as Q is equal to Kia or V is equal to Q by A is equal to Ki. Then, what is the Darcy's law? Laminar flow in saturated soil. The laminar flow in, in every day, saturated soil. Laminar flow in saturated soil. In the condition angle, dark seed experimental determination in the Rate of flow on discharge per unit time is proportional to hydraulic gradient. Is proportional to hydraulic gradient. Q is the rate of flow or discharge. I is the hydraulic gradient. So, Q is proportional to I. Now, we have to Q is equal to K into I into A. Q is equal to K into I into A. It is K is the Darcy's coefficient of permeability. Darcy's coefficient of Permeability. A or another area of cross section of soil mass. Cross sectional area of soil mass perpendicular to flow. Then I is the hydraulic gradient. Apa Q is equal to K into I into A. Angin yang angin flow velocity V an flow velocity angin V terus V is equal to Q by A. That is K into I. V is equal to K into I. Ini kalau pun E formula ni kita pergi terus. V is equal to K into I or Q is equal to K I into a. This is Darcy's law. And this law is valid only for laminar flow. Laminar flow is valid because of very small pore dimensions in fine grain soil. Laminar flow should exist but in coarse grain soil, turbulent flow may be expected under certain conditions. So, fine grain soil is चरिए पोर डाइमेंशन साइड ओन्डे लैमिनर फ्लो आना अवधे एक्सिस्ट चाहिए नहीं थे बक्शन अमाले कोस ग्रेन के सोयल ऐड को आने के अवधे एक अमाले एक्सपेक्ट ये नहीं थे चार्बलेन फ्लो आने अंडर सर्टेन कंडीशन सो इट हैज बीन बोर्न आउट बाय एक्सपेरिमेंट्स दैट लिमिट्स ऑफ वैलिडिटी ऑफ लैमिनर फ्लो हाइड्रोलिक ग्रेडिएंट पार्टिकल साइज़ में वेलोसिटी ऑफ़ फ्लोइंग हाइड्रोलिक ग्रेडिएंट यानी लैमिनर अलग ये डार्क सीज़ लोड़ा वैलिडिटी लिमिट से फिक्स है इधर सो ये लॉ वैलिड आने अपराध में चल रेनोल्स नंबर इस लेस देन और इक्वल टू यूनिटी रेनोल्स नंबर ऐसे नहीं आने रेनोल्स नंबर that is rho is the density, mass density into velocity of flow into diameter of particle size divided by 
dynamic viscosity and rv should be less than or equal to 1 angane anengile darcy's law valid aagathullu appo laminar flow il maatrame darcy's law valid aagathullu appo ipo reynolds number na condition parayunnathu rv should be less than or equal to 1 reynolds number less than or equal to 1 anengile darcy's law valid aagathullu mere for ground water flow occurring in nature law is generally within its validity limits Nature level ground water flow is lower generally within the validity limits, but if rock aquifers or unconsolidated aquifers with deep hydraulic gradients or in those containing large diameter solution openings, Darcy's law may not be applicable. And also in the immediate vicinity of wells having steep hydraulic gradient, the law is not applicable. So, you know, every applicable law, I have a lot of statement and I have a lot of equation. For Laminar flow conditions in saturated soil, the rate of flow or discharge per unit time is proportional to rate of flow or discharge per unit time to varandhi. Discharge to varandhi volume by time. And rate of flow or discharge per unit time is proportional to the hydraulic gradient. Q is proportional to I. Q is equal to Ki into A. V is equal to Q by A which is equal to K into I. This law valid I can only get Reynolds number should be less than or equal to what? Reynolds number should be less than or equal to what? Next property what is the coefficient of permeability? Coefficient of permeability represented using the letter K. Coefficient of permeability is defined as the velocity of flow which will occur through the total cross section area of soil or aquifer under a unit hydraulic gradient. Velocity of flow which will occur through the total cross section area of soil or aquifer with or under unit hydraulic gradient. That is coefficient of permeability. Hydraulic gradient unit agumbol entire cross section load of flow jain and flow jain of water and velocity. Our flow velocity and coefficient of permeability in the medical. And now, can you say that? V is equal to Ki. So when I is equal to 1. V is equal to K. That is the coefficient of permeability in the definition. In the definition, coefficient of permeability is defined as the velocity of flow which will occur through the total cross-sectional area of the soil or aquifer. Velocity of flow which will occur through the total cross-sectional area of soil or aquifer under a unit hydraulic gradient. Under a unit hydraulic gradient gradient. That is coefficient of permeability K. Next is coefficient of transmissibility. Coefficient of transmissibility. Capital T. It is defined as the rate of flow in meter cube per day or gallons per day through vertical strip of aquifer of unit width and extending the full saturation height under unit hydraulic gradient at the temperature of 60 degree Fahrenheit. In that, coefficient of transmissibility is defined as the rate of flow in meter cube per day or gallons per day. Rate of flow. Through vertical strip of aquifer of unit width, aquifer and width the unit width area, and extending the full saturation height under unit hydraulic gradient. Unit hydraulic gradient area, as well as unit width area. Thus, coefficient of transmissibility equals to the field coefficient of permeability multiplied by aquifer thickness B. And that is P is equal to K into B. 
T is equal to K into P. That is V is equal to T and I K into I into A. K into I into A. A is equal to T and K into I into A. A is equal to T and K into A. A is equal to T and K I. I value is equal to T is equal to K into B. That is the coefficient of transmissibility. Coefficient of transmissibility is defined as the rate of flow of water through vertical strip of aquifer of unit with an extending the full saturation height under unit hydraulic gradient at a temperature of 60 degree Fahrenheit. 60 degree Fahrenheit temperature. T is equal to K into B. And B is equal to K and I is equal to 1. These two relations are the same. That is the dark size law equation. V is equal to Q by A which is equal to K into I. 